Did you know you can add sound effects in Flinto for Mac? Any link, any gesture really, can have a sound effect on it. And that applies in the behavior designer and in screen to screen links. I'm gonna, I've got these three buttons here. And let me open up the preview so you can see the button press effect that I've got on these. Now I'm gonna go in and edit that button press effect. So I'll click on one of these, click edit for that behavior. And I wanna make it so that when I touch down on this uh, link, which takes me from the initial state to the down state, when I touch down on there, I wanna play a sound. So all you do is drag a sound file onto the gesture in the inspector. And you can see the name of the file there. And let me open up the preview again. Now you can see all the buttons that use that same button press behavior now have that sound effect as part of the behavior. So it's really cool and it's really fast, especially when you're reusing the behavior. Because maybe I wanna come in here and add a uh, sound for the up effect. So I have a mouse out and a touch up gesture that both take me back to the initial state. Let me get my other sound effect and I'm gonna put this on the touch up, but I'm not gonna put it on the mouse out. So that seems cool. But when I go out, it seems maybe not appropriate for the sound to play when I mouse out. You know, maybe there should be even a different sound for that. So since I'm just having fun with this, I'm gonna put some kind of funny sounds in here. And I've got this clackety sound for mouse out. Cool. So it's really easy to add those sound effects and it's nice to be able to have the control to add different sounds per gesture. Another thing to note is that if you wanna have a, a button press effect and separately add sound effects to some of your buttons, you could put the sound effects in a separate behavior. There's a video on our YouTube channel about combining behaviors together. So you can check that out to learn how that works.